Then we'll get back to some more Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. Aren't you very excited, Cameron? We're doing your favorite part of the game right now. I'm gonna try and not say a single bad thing about Pokestar Studios in this game. How about, how about you say the good things that you like about it? Okay. Alright, well in the last one we went to the complex. Then we used a bunch of rare candies to get our Pokemon up to the level cap. And then we beat a proxy. And no one died. <laughs> they deserve the rare candies. They've been doing a good job. Yeah, everyone's working so hard. And now we gotta do the Pokestar Studios. Activate the Team Plasma event. Go to Castelia City and possibly get three encounters before we uh, before we end the episode. Here, I'll let you. <laughs> At least if, I feel like if you're in control of it. Oh, I see that kid sound promising. Yeah, that kid is sure be here any moment. Are you oh my gosh, look, it's a kid. <laughs> oh look, there's a child there. Quick, grab him. Welcome to Pokestar Studios. Use him for profit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exploit him. Add him to a contract. Welcome to Nickelodeon. <laughs> I'm Dan Schneider. <laughs> oh, no, not right now, dude. What the? Hey, and where have we been waiting for you? This is your boss, Mr. S Studio. Bonjour, hello, I am Studio Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, you must be Edward. I, we were just talking about you. I like to explain Pokemon Studios, but I need a little time to prepare. I'm so sorry, darling. Do you mind waiting a teensy moment? In the meantime, I'll show you around Pokemon Studios. The best part of the game. <laughs> oh, that'd be marvelous. Movies are amazing! Pokestar Studios inspires the mood people all over the world! You can make sure- Oh, you can make sure that Edward, uh, experiences as many charms. Well then, I absolutely must be off and start my preparations. I'll see you guys in a minute! He the, fucking books it. Yeah, he, he's like, he runs like you to the toilet. Like, fast and in a hurry. <laughs> That's my boss, bring you away! Grateful footwork! Well then, Edward, come with me! Come on! I think it was just the same animation when, uh, like, you had to follow an, an NPC. Oh, they go up to you, they do a little tap, and then they just, like, walk in the direction. It's like they're putting a leash on you. <laughs> First, let me tell you briefly about Pokestar Studios is all about. Pokestar Studios was built for making films. It's a movie, uh, metropolis. Many films were made and released right here. <gasps> we get to be real, the boy. We're gonna be so cool and quirky. This is the theater! Of course, this is where the films are shown. Movie fans from all over also gather here. How about we take a look inside? You know what I like about this? When you do a movie, you can get items from these people. And they're like, oh my god, I'm your biggest fan! Here's the lemonade. Here we are, this is the reception area. Oh look, it's the captain. Oh, if it isn't the scout himself. Thanks to you, I've made my movie debut. Wow, I'm glad to hear that. And who would that be? This is Edward. I witnessed this trainer challenge your daughter. It struck me. There's someone... There's someone here with real potential. A fresh discovery for Pokestar Studios. You beat Roxy, I see. You must be a pretty good trainer. Burger. Oh, you know what? They're releasing my movie now. Are you thinking about making a Pokestar Studio debut too? Then I do insist you watch my movie in order to gain acting tips from a professional such as myself. That's a good idea! Edward, it would be good it would good- wait, it would be a good introduction for filmmaking for you. Awesome, let's go! Alright, since this text goes by very fast without us even pressing a button, sh should I read for Riola Man or you read for the fucking Brayden dude? Okay. Oh, the police Star Studio Theater! This is the reception counter! This is where you choose the movie you want to watch. There are eight screens in the theater here in Pokestar Studios. Pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, I guess. Now, huh? <laughs> it seems my movie will be shown on a special screen. Special... Special screen nine. <laughs> For dog shit movies. <laughs> I guess I'll also be narrator. Because, uh, we, <laughs> these are the fast. Bryson Man, Midlife Man of Justice versus Bryson Man. A place of never ending files. Everyone's ideal place for play, the amusing part, but if there any shot. Oh shit. However, it starts just before dawn. A hero has appeared on the scene. And that hero's name is Riolu Man. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to press anything, it just goes for you. You were challenging the mess man, Bryson Man. It's that not Polinard. Go, Riolu! 
Go, my Pokemon! Unleash your power and destroy everything in this amusement park. Can you hold on, please? <laughs> Who are you? The messenger of truth and ideals, Riola Man enters! Hey there, Bryson Man! That isn't that it's not nice to do bad things. Kill yourself! <laughs> A place of ideal dreams, or perhaps ideal dreams. I have no use for <laughs> other ideal <or> dreams. <laughs> I use force palm. <laughs> Dude, this this dialogue is so amazing. All right, Volaby. Hey, what's going on there? Is this one of those hero skits? A single hit to KO my Pokemon. You're pretty good, real man. Despite that, however, you will be brought to your knees before me when I end you with my dark secret arts. Burn it when you finish. I'm scared. <laughs> Well, ha, ha how pitiful real man. Why would I waste my secret arts on someone like you? This should do it. Well, ha, ha I will end you now, real man. Use air slash. We're dead. <laughs> well, ha, ha, this is the end for you, real man. I didn't even have to use my secret arts. Now just stand in the corner and watch me destroy the amusement park. Ouch! Oh, it's in the hero material after all. Mohaha! Facing Bryson, the masked man Riolo lost all of his strength to fight. However, no one will ever forget how he timidly fought. <laughs> Thank you, Riolo man. Goodbye, Riolo man. Oh, fuck. It's like the, um. You know, know what that reminded me of? The, um. Suicide Squad 2. With the guy who was like, he, he helped like a little bit in the fight, and then he immediately got killed. It's the guy with the polka dots all over him. He's like, yes, I'm doing it! I'm a real hero! And then it's like, <laughs> it just gets murdered. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. I hope you had a good time. Did you enjoy the movie? Da -da -da. What's the matter? Ha ha ha! I've always dreamed of making my debut on the silver screen. Now I've fulfilled that dream. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> Let me get this straight! You go down there and fill those poor souls! <laughs> different people have different talents. I knew it all along. But I see my daughter striving to balance the responsibility of being a gym leader while pursuing her own dream of being in a band. Although I'm a father, I really wanted to pursue my own long-held dream. If you stop pursuing your dreams, your life might as well be over, right? Da da da. I'm going back to my duties as a ship captain for now. Someday I'll return to the screen. Until that day comes, I'll leave all the starring roles to you! Goodbye! I think I was fucking weird. We better get going. Mr. Dio <laughs> will be ready by now. <laughs> Jotaro. Dio. Ho. <laughs> Ho. I gotta say, this is beautifully done. This is the filming studio. This is where Pokestar Studios movies were born. And now come inside. Mr. Dio will be waiting. I think this is all your voice lines. Okay. You don't want to voice Bryson? Oh yeah, I forgot Bryson says like four words here. Yeah, but very important words. Hey boss, I brought Edward. His name's Whitebeard. <laughs> well now, thanks for coming. First, let me re reintroduce myself. I am Stu Dio. I'm the owner of the Pokestar Studios. So, Edward Darling, I'll bring you- I bring you here because I have a very important quest for you. I bet you figured it out, but I want you to be in Pokestar Studio movies! The scout said you're absolutely positively oozing with star potential. And when I saw you, your potential struck me like a lightning bolt. Yes, sir. There's no doubt in my mind that this trainer will be a top star of the Pokestar Studio Silver Screen. I know, isn't it fabulous? I'm sure you'll be a big star, darling. So I beg you, be in the movie. Today I'll be, I even called an amazing, outstanding co-star for you. Bryson, will you join us? He's still one of the gym leader. <laughs> I'm Bryson, nice to meet you. Bryson, the Pokestar Studio of Pride and Joy, our mastery star. I prepared a positively perfect script for the big veteran star like him and a, and a fresh new talent like you. Those eyes, I look forward to acting with you. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm, as cool as ever. So, that's the situation. If you talk to that fine staff member over there, you can shoot the film. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. To start with, try going big. Then I've rated. Oh, shit. 
Who the fuck's Brayden? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of the properties from work. Oops. <laughs> well, now Edward. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you. Please do your best until we make a movie to release to the theater. Oh. <laughs> I kid you not, that's one of the properties. <laughs> Good job. Welcome to, welcome to the uh, sound stage of Pokies Art Studios. Would you like to start filming? Yeah. I, Cause I know my name. <laughs> Alright. We're good to be real, little boy. And never watch the movie. <laughs> this is the best part of the, of the show right now. He doesn't have to be in costume during this part, they just got a fucking green screen. I understand for the environment, you know. You well, you're not in costume either. You know what? That's stupid. Beat him up. That's the, that's the script. <laughs> Some of the later ones that you that like are in here, they're fucking challenging, and I never understood them. Let's go hit the spot that hour. We'll be down on your knees before me when I end you with a breadfish. Bring it on! Oh, I'm just real, kid. Well said. My dark secret arts enter, take them, and be gone. Wait, wasn't my name in the other one Riolu Girl? I think so. Why am I just called Riolu Kid? You are Riolu ambiguously gendered person. I guess. But why is the boy just called Riolu Kid, but the girl is called Riolu Girl? This is sexist. <laughs> God, that ain't that bad! What do you mean that might not be bad? I followed the fucking script! <laughs> no, we're gonna shoot! Did you guys release your movie to the- Yeah, I guess. I mean, we don't really get a choice, we kinda have to. Then you see all the progress they made! <laughs> Thank you, Sunkern. He's so cute, he won't evolve for a while. <laughs> not until we, like, in Nimbasa City. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, as long as it's before fun. Great, good work. That was a, that was stirring acting. I can't wait to see the finished film. And this is where it gets really amazing. That that movie you just filmed will be finished in an instant and released to the silver screen. Come on, Edward, darling, let's beat off to the theater. Hey, boss. Sorry to interrupt, but the time. Oh, that's right. Got it. Boo. <laughs> so sorry, Edward, darling. I have to be hurrying off. But Edward, I would. You should go see how your debut turned out. I'm sure it'll be an amazing movie. You're you are in it after all. Ciao. See you again soon. Because our studios will always be waiting for you, Edward. I can leave now. Oh, thank God. Oh, you see the game fucking <laughs> slowing down. It was it was lagging hella hard. Yeah, I'm glad I I you also noticed that. You didn't finish your potatoes! No, I have two of them left. Eat them. Eat them right now. Oh. Look at that. I didn't say a single bad thing about Pokestar Studios. Actually, you didn't say anything <laughs> besides your your lines. <laughs> so, I, so I didn't have anything good to say about it either. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I can't wait to do a whole episode where we do that in, in white too. Yeah, and I can't wait to not be there. I'll be in that room right <gasps> over there. Can you at least join me on a Discord call? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so you guys are Team Plasma then? That's right, we're Team Plasma. Two years ago we were portrayed by the man we respected as our king and hero. So our conquest of the Unova region ended in failure. However, we will never give up. We will pursue. We've already made another- we already have another plan in motion. Team Plasma? More like Team Smegma? I mean, Smegma. shut it. <laughs> you guys are the worst. You talk about saving Pokemon, but you're just Pokemon thieves. Don't think I'll ever forgive you. Zay ha 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 ha. <laughs> In the ranch, we got chased by Pipla. Pip. Shit, Lillipup. It still wasn't right. It was a fucking herd here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess you're right. I'll let that one slide. <laughs> and, now, <laughs> and now we're getting involved in trouble. This kind of stinks. Well, it's okay, isn't it? If we steal their Pokemon. All right, kids. When you're ready, give it your best shot. What if we just like ran away? Very quickly from you guys. What if we just call the cops? 
What if I just take out this gun I have in my pocket? <laughs> you ever see those clips of like, it's like Spider-Man is like, oh shit, I'm out of webs. <laughs> Was it a gun? <laughs> Say ha ha ha, I'll crush you and your new plans. I can never forgive Team Plasma. Say, say, say ha ha ha. <laughs> I shall get you with my dark dark fruit. Just sucks them in. <laughs> I just imagine, like, uh, like, he's just sucking them in, you hear, Go, 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 go. <laughs> Oh my god, he's boring them right now! <laughs> oh, uh, one of my, uh, one of my subscribers is, uh, going through some of my, uh, my recent videos and live streams that I've been doing recently, and, uh, <laughs> they've been making a compilation called, like, there's two titles for it, there's, like, Random Shit Phoenix Has Said or Phoenix Once Said, and <laughs> it's very good. It has like some fucking funny out of po like out of context shit that I've said. Like uh, like the beginning of it, it was me and the drawing thing, like drawing stream. And I guess I poked my face in a little bit to get closer to the sketch pad so I could see what the fuck I'm doing better. And so it said like face reveal, and I'm like, what do you mean face reveal? I've been doing the whole face thing. <laughs> and they're like. Is a quote. I'm like, did I really fucking say it like that? I had to have it clipped. So I'm like, oh shit, I did say it like that. One of the things that just got added as of recently was a. I did Mario Party 8 and I was doing the fucking mansion shit. And uh. <laughs> I was doing it against Luigi and I was getting pissed off that he kept, like, getting stars. And when the. You know the minigame where you have to shoot the, the people and the, the lava thing? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, to me, I don't call those mini games. I call that real life. Oh, no. <laughs> like, there's a lot of overhead, you got to shoot them to, like, win. I was like, alright, I have to shoot the Italian. <laughs> oh, no. It's World War II all over again. <laughs> Wasn't. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, wait, the US, the U.S. was against Italy. Oh, it was, yeah, it was Italy, it was Italy, <laughs> Italy Germany, uh, Germany, and Japan. You're right. Oh, yeah, the Axis powers. I re I watch Italian, I know this stuff. No. Anyway, you can read now. <laughs> Say ha ha ha. Pokemon that have the cut cut fruit can use it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a fruit? <laughs> yeah, it's chop chop fruit. Yeah, it's, the, it's Buggy's fruit. Yeah. It is the chop chop fruit. Isn't what does that metal dude have where he, like his his arms turn into blades? He's part of Bro Works. He was the only one that um, died. He's, no, no, he's in the he, he was in Impa then. That one might actually be the cut cut fruit. There's the snip snip fruit. Oh yeah, the the guy with that transitions a lot, right? Yeah, he has he has orange this. and yeah, he cut, he can cut through anything. Yeah. Let me, let, me like let me look it up and see if it's actually called the cut cut fruit. <laughs> Who got the cut cut fruit? And it's like, the cut cut fruit makes it so the <laughs> the user is super buff. <laughs> makes him cut at the gym. <laughs> is it actually called the cut cut fruit? Dude, I'm so smart. I'm... Well, that one's the chop chop fruit. Oh, that's that's the fandom. Oh. Alright, ch Chokey one. Chokey No Me, aka the Choke on My Cock Fruit, I don't know. <laughs> what does it translate to? Official name Snip Snip Fruit. Right. Or Sheer Sheer Fruit. I'm, I'm actually curious. Wait. Isn't, well, you not referred to as the Cut Cut? I guess. I'm, oh, wait, there it is! A trainer from Asperius Guest City challenged and successfully beat Roxy, the Burbank gym leader. Nice. I did it. The one that uh, Mr. One has is the dice dice fruit. Dice, yeah, that's right. And then Buggy's got the chop, the chop chop. chop. I don't, we haven't faced off against that person yet. I probably, no, we can deal with it. I, I just know the fucking Dunge Barts is pretty, pretty heavy. And hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, before you do your first move. It's got roll out. I'm looking up Dunge Sparse. You can just look up pictures of Dunge Sparse. <laughs> Uh, it's level 11, I got what are your What do your stats look like, Dunsparce? D don't use a move yet, hang on, give me a second. It's a fucking- look at it! <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> okay, doing? use Bubble Beam. I was gonna do that anyway. I mean, it's eight levels lower than us. I was checking to see if it was higher defense or special defense, but it didn't even use Rollout, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. I use fucking Pursuit. <laughs> If you switched out, that would be pretty bad. Yeah, I've had that happen in Nuzlocke, and I'm like, what the fuck happened? Why is my Pokemon dead? <laughs> It'd be like, I'll, I'd be like, oh, I'll switch him out real quick. 
And then once I, like, I'll, like, turn away to go, like, eat and get something, and then all of a sudden I'll turn back over and it says, Choose a Pokemon to send out in battle! I'm like, what do you mean? I just did that! <laughs> oh shit, you think, you think this is a Team Plasma member? I'm lost! Yeesh! I really hate it when people won't let things go! Oh my god, this is fucking killer. Oh my gosh, my ears. <laughs> it's not even on your headset. Yeah, I know, but I can still hear it. It's so good! This remix is so baller! You know what the coolest part is? I can lower it up and down as much as I want and it won't be seen in post. <laughs> Yeah, what if you what if you do it so loud that it picks up off the mic and You probably did. <laughs> and you're like, wow, she loves it so much that we can hear it double. <laughs> I mean sometimes when like um, when I'm editing, like I'll cut out the first bit and then the other bit and whatnot, because it's us getting on the bed and then off the bed to like that's <laughs> record and stop. <laughs> so sometimes you can hear the fucking bed and creak. <laughs> My bed is so creaky. Yeah. Sorry, I guess our bed is so creaky. Our bed? <laughs> our bed. Our. <laughs> well, well, I mean, we both have been sleeping in it together for... Oh, actually, no, we don't do that. That's gay. What do you mean that's gay? Is it gay to sleep with an agendered person? <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified to answer that question. I mean, you're male and I have no gender, so technically it's not gay. Wait, what are you saying? The <laughs> Mika this tree. <laughs> what <go> tree? <laughs> are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Alright, are you excited? I, I, I want to say it's not gay. Alright. Someone in the comments correct me if you're more knowledgeable about this stuff. I want to say it's not gay. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a beginner to this stuff. I'm trying to be more accepting. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Still racist, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, you, you're you, can, you can't be racist if you actually just like everyone. I don't have any- I don't bar any hatred towards any person or thing. Oh, thank god. <laughs> you gotta- nope. you gotta deal with my age under date sexual ass over here. I'm just ironically racist. I'm Cameron. <laughs> everyone had their phase. I'm just still going through it. Stop it! <laughs> Something wrong with you. No, I, was, I was talking to like some of my friends and everyone was like, why are all of us still out of pocket in high school? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I would just say the most like disgusting shit that ever came out of my mouth and then just go home and eat a yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> or like, like I'd, be, I'd, I'd be like saying some vile things while slurping on my go-gurts and <laughs> eating my tricks. <laughs> Me and you have very difficult high school experiences while you were- well, but just on like base level of like you were you were a very popular kid that played sports and whatnot and hung around other popular kids. I was the fucking weird bitch that hung around the fucking nerd weird people and sold candy <laughs> and ran a fucking black market scheme at my school. <laughs> well, well, it's like it's weird to describe me in high school. Wait, oh, hang on. You're going to Castilla City, right? I'm going to look for Team Plasma. I mean, Team Smegma. I can't forgive those guys. Smegma? What's Smegma? They took my devil fruit. <laughs> hey, oh Captain, God. show us that ship you're so proud of. The Moby Dick. <laughs> oh my god, it's- it's- this is Goldie Rogers! <laughs> <laughs> no, Goldie Rogers' ship was called the- the Oro Jack- uh, Oro- Oro? I don't know, yeah, Oro Jackson. so long ago. What'd you say? Oro Jackson. No, the first one. Moby Dick? Oh. That's Whitebeard's ship. Oh, that's right! <laughs> I'm a fake fan, apparently. <laughs> I mean, that happened fucking 100 episodes ago. Yeah. Actually, more. That was 300 episodes when they did the whole fucking thing with the with the, the dead and then the donut guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We have the donut guy on our team. Yeah. I was sure. I was like, fuck. What? I couldn't remember the name of the arc. And I was like, well, I know what happened to Ace during that arc. Yeah, nothing happened to him. No One Piece spoilers here. This whole thing is- this whole fucking Nuzlocke's a One Piece spoiler. Of us, like, naming these people and then being like, yeah, that guy that dies, dude. <laughs> we already killed Nami. Well, she's not- she's not dead in the anime. Didn't- didn't fucking- uh, what's his name? The author? Didn't, like, the- di Oda. Didn't Oda say that one of the fucking Straw Hats are gonna die? I feel like he's just but saying that to, like, get people <laughs> to keep to, breathing. To, like, it's gonna be one of those things where, like, someone's gonna, like, die and come back to life. Well, or... they already- I mean, Brooke already has that fruit. They can't do that shit. <laughs> he might have meant Brooke, honestly. Oh. 
But once Brooke dies, I don't think he's gonna come back, right? Well, Honestly, I don't, the only thing I, I don't could... think anyone knows whether their revive revive fruit has a second thing or not. Yeah, well, technically, he still has the fruit. I think it's only a once once thing and whatnot. Because I feel like if it was more, it would have been documented. Like this fruit will just make you live forever. But then, if that's the case, then someone would just already had that fruit before Brooke even got it. You know. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, oh yeah. What I was saying before, my so so high school was kind of like strange for me. Because, like, yes, I was, like, somewhat one of the popular kids, but at the same time, uh, I was also one of, like, the nerdy kids because I was one of the smartest kids in the school. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so much so... Oh, and I was also, I was also like one of the biggest troublemakers oh. in the school. So I had like those three things going for me. Usually those are kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. You got like your delinquents, you got your popular kids, and then you got your nerds. I was like all three. <laughs> and, uh, and so lots, lots of things, lots of things happened, but I, I was, uh, I was like, it was getting ready for graduation, right? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I was like comparing everyone's GPAs and whatnot like uh, I was in like we were separated by like math classes in our uh, So like our schedules were based around like our math class mm -hmm. because everyone took the same curriculum, but uh, But they had like certain electives that you couldn't that you could take at certain points mm -hmm. and then um, And then based on your math class your schedule would be a bit different okay. so uh, So I was in the highest math class. I was taking uh, AP Calc 2 in my senior year, huh. and, uh, and so, while I was, while I was taking that, there was only one other person in my, like, in my entire grade, who was also in that class, <laughs> so we would have classes of just us two, because we were the only two people taking these classes, mm -hmm. and, uh, and us two were supposed to be, like, since we were, like, the smartest kids, basically, we were supposed to be kind of like the, uh, we should have been like one and two. Yeah. Like one of us should have been valedictorian, the other should have been salutatorian. And, uh, that ended up not happening because, uh, they had a big oopsie poopsie and, uh, the other kid and I didn't get AP or honors credits for any of our classes that we had taken. Damn. And, uh, and so he got placed second. And I got placed third, and who got placed first? Uh, one of the, one of these like girls in our class. She was like she's like a goody two shoes and and whatnot. And the and the other kid who got second was also like he was like a decent guy. He wasn't like an asshole like I was. Mm -hmm. And so I always keep telling myself that they like purposely screwed that up because uh, because I I should have had the highest GPA out of everyone there, including uh, oh. I don't know this fucking happened. I guess we didn't come up here during white two yet. Yeah. Uh, Alright, when I s No, she's- No, and you're she like, oh man, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> when I saw you in the city, I just had to catch up with you. How'd you catch up yeah, with me on the Take this. Plate? This is a dousing machine. <gasps> I can find things hidden now on the ground. Actually, I do think she has the deep voice in this one. No, because you're, no, 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 you're like, no, she hit puberty. Because I, I gave Teach the, the lower voice All in the right. other one. You can use a dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. It's exciting to find an item while you're looking for a Pokemon. Oh, good luck. Thanks, Bianca. What's up? Oh, if you often use the dowsing machine, the habitat list, and so on, why don't you register then? Or I think it's written in this book. I found it. Okay, I'll read it. You can use the registered item just by pressing the Y button. What the fuck is a Y button? <laughs> See? Okay, bye. Bro, that's... <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be different when we play during- oh shit, there's trainers. Oh god. Oh yeah, but um... Like, like, I, like I was saying, uh... I was, uh... So I was third in my class. And... Uh... I keep telling myself, this might just be like, me coping. Mm -hmm. Uh, but... I keep telling myself that... I got third, like, kind of like as like the best position because I got to tell everyone that like I was in like you know like the top like one percent of my class yeah Ooh. but I didn't have to give a speech 
I was the highest, I was the highest, like, class rank possible without needing to give a speech. Nice. <laughs> Let's see what we got, by the way. <gasps> Yay! Oh, oh, it's a female! Alright, I need you to change it in the computer. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. All right. He hear me out, hear me out. There's an ongoing fan theory. That crocodile is Luffy's mother! Oh my god, you're a genius! So I think naming this crocodile is still a, an appropriate thing to do. Yes! Because I also can't think of anyone who has like, like ground powers. Oh, the mole does. I, I was thinking, I was thinking of the mole lady, but Miss Christmas. But we li there's really drill burr in this game. Yeah. Also sand dials in this. Game. Oh wait, not. Uh, sand slash. That's right. It's like a hedgehog. Yeah. So if we get one of those, then we can we can name it after her. If we want yeah. It. Yeah, we should be able to find sand shrews in the desert resort. You know, we could also find my favorite Pokemon, Syphilis. Sigala! Sigala! Find it thank, Sigala! Thank, thank you for that one. <gasps> Alright, you gotta spell crocodile, because I'll spell her wrong. Ah, ah, <laughs> that ah. ain't crocodile, the alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it! They live in the hot sand, that's all I saw! There's, I, I was too excited. This is, this is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of chances of us at getting this. It yeah. was this area, Desert Resort, and then the castle, which when we go there, it's the only option that we're gonna have is you ask unless they did a Car Carcadillo. <laughs> <laughs> unless they have like another option for this game. Alright, we got we got a new team. Yay, under. look look at her. Alright. This is this So we're hoping for either an adamant or a jolly nature. Okay. Bashful. Oh no. What does that mean? Nothing. Oh, okay, okay. okay it's, it's, it's one of the ones that's nothing. That's yeah, fine. and we got Intimidate. We get it. We got Bite. He a chompy boy! Well, yeah, no shit. You went without Bite. Well, this is gonna be really good for, uh... That one bitch. Alisa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to pronounce it. I had the spelling in my head. Also, the bike's not gonna work on this sand. <laughs> Just press Y again. Uh, these... This is... I haven't played on a controller in a while. What a... Oh god. <laughs> I know, so... Be careful. Why? <laughs> you know what's good about the that? The frames. Oh it's so slow. <laughs> that ain't good for battle kick. You know what's good about this trainer? She'll constantly refresh so you can keep battling her. <laughs> that's, that's what I used to do to like, uh, to like try and level up fast. Mm -hmm. Was I would just keep like going back and battling. Uh, there's like this one trainer that's right next to the 8th gym, I think. Uh, it's one of the breeders, and she yeah. had, and she has like oh. uh, she has pretty high level Pokemon that give like a decent bit of XP. So I would keep going back to her to to like uh, that, poor, that poor drill bird. <laughs> yeah, dumbass, <laughs> looking go. <laughs> he missed both of his attacks and then got critical hit. <laughs> <laughs> poor thing. Level twenty. I almost threw up in my mouth. <laughs> That's gross. I didn't say oh, it was good. Meryl. Oh, yeah, one of our grass types can get can get some some play. Yay! Our little Aramaki. I'm starting to use their names. <laughs> Usually it's easy for me with like older and new generations to forget their original name and just call them my nick the nickname I gave them. But since I'm so familiar with Unova, it's hard to not look at it, that Pokemon and be like, yeah, it's Servine. Servine. <laughs> Is that a Servine? Pika. They're bi <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> it's Servine. They're a <laughs> bot. If, if you guys haven't seen that clip, there's, there's literally just like an episode of Pokemon where they say the name Servine like 300 times just, in a yeah, row. Yeah, just go on YouTube and look up It's Servine Pokemon Black and White anime, and it, they just like, you won't be able to hurt me with my Servine. They said the Servine, the server's like, Servine. And, and Ash is like, a Servine? Pika? <laughs> <laughs> and then they do the, I guess they cut to commercial, and they're like, who's that Pokemon? And it's clearly Servine. <laughs> and they're gonna come back, and they're like, it's Servine. And he goes, Servine. <laughs> and then it cuts to her back, and he goes, Servine. And they're like, it's Servine. It has to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, good job, Ash. Your deductive reasoning is on point. Not only did his trainer say that it's Servine, not only... <laughs> Did it come out and say Servine? The freaking narrator said it! Alright. He like breaks the fourth wall, he's like, That's gotta be Servine. <laughs> Why'd she get close to my face? 
It's it's like it's like Andorra and and Andorra's like clearly looking at a freaking mountain and is like, where's the mountain? <laughs> and you're like, it's right fucking here. <laughs> and she's like, is it over there? And points to a volcano. I mean, like that's close enough. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so we can't get uh, the desert resort capture or the relic castle capture because that you have to. Get the third gym badge before that, because you gotta meet Korez and shit. Aren't there like, aren't there like a bunch of crusts yeah, in the can, way? Yeah, you saw them. You can somewhat see them on the screen, but their boulders are sitting there. But uh, our next encounter, which we can activate, is in the Castilia sewers. We can get one before we talk to to Teach and get a single encounter. That way, we don't have to risk him killing something that we want. Yeah. Now, so it's more controlled that way. You're looking for the gym leader, Bird. He said he might be. He said there might be trouble, and then took off. You can go look for him if you'd like. Huh? Bird vanished again. What is this shit? <laughs> oh, hello, Iris. Something came up, and Bird isn't here right now. Hmm. Isn't Bird always vanishing though? He always says he's got artist block, and then just goes wandering out of the gym. Hi there. Who are you? Looking for Team Plasma, but Team Plasma disbanded two years ago. I guess that doesn't matter. You're having problems, so I'm gonna help you out. Hmm. Now, where would suspicious people go to hide? They can't do that if, at the building again like last game. Because there's a metal office here. <laughs> That's it. I know where they might be. Good grief. Berg and Iris are so similar. It looks like she went around the corner towards the Pokemon Center. Do you know where the Pokemon Center is? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you're fucked. <laughs> and you keep following the street that goes around the Castilia City. It's right there. Dang, there are... Servine! <laughs> it's gotta be Servine. <laughs> Alright, oh wait, should I, uh... I need to put an appropriate Pokemon out. Yeah, let's put Ace out. To deal with the, uh, the Zubats and... Oh, at least we're guaranteed a Poison type here. Guaranteed a poison type. Yeah, because there's Zubats, Grimers. Oh, yeah, there's a rat. <laughs> I was about to say there's Rattatas. I was like, fuck, not the rat. Honestly, Rattata's not a bad encounter. Yeah. If, it, if it has guts, it's actually really good. Oh, like, boosts his attack if a status condition's on it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, status conditions always end up biting me in the ass with these, so I don't know. Well, you don't take poison damage in this game at, in the overworld, right? Yeah. So you can just pre poison it before you go into a battle. Yeah. And it'll do like a ton more damage. And if you teach that thing facade, oh my gosh, that thing does so much damage. You can go inside the sewers from here. What do you think? Seems pretty suspicious, right? Yeah, look See at that. See that gaping asshole right there? Look at that thug staring at it. Is it ha ha ha? Edward, did you find Team Smegma? Alright, well, we said yes in the last one, so let's do no. Ah, oh, those dirty Pokemon thieves. That means the only place I still haven't checked is... Edward, help me out. Yep, the sewers are a perfect hiding- perfect place for hiding! I'm gonna take this, like, weird, like, one piece thing that we're doing and, like, teach- this is before Teach became all rogue. You can get on the stairs. We keep going like this. I just don't want to get too close enough to talk to him. You can't get on the stairs, I've done it before. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's see what our encounter is. It's okay, that bad. is not bad. If we train them, we could use them in the uh, in in the bug gym. I mean, shoot, he might be able to evolve into a crowbat before the gym. When does he evolve into crowbat? From friendship. No, but like, what level does he uh, evolve into? The gold bat, I think. Eighteen. Yeah. Honestly. Uh... I do not remember. I know it's, the, it's level up to Golbat and then Crobat's your friendship. Zubat. It's the bat Pokemon. It does not need eyes because it emen emanates ultrasonic waves to catch its surroundings when it flies. Poison flying. Alright. Shit. What's the guy's name that I don't like from fucking Through Our Bark? Which one? The, the big dude that disappeared, that was one of the, the, one of the emperors. Oh, oh. Not the emperor, the, uh, one of the fucking warlords of the ocean. Gecko Moria. How the fuck you spell that? Alright, uh, uppercase. Oh, I can't do that. 
Okay. Well, do you want do you want to do his first name or let? Well, let's probably do his last name because if you name it Gecko, then that could be kind of. Can it fit Gecko Mori on here? Uh. Yeah. G three. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can do it. No. What do you mean no? No. Do you not know how to spell no! a gecko? No! There you go. Alright, what's next? There you go. Good job. Oh, okay. I got it. This is how you spell Moria. Okay. Uh... Like that? I'm just making sure this is... Yep. <gasps> Look at me! I'm so smart! <laughs> Why did I turn to a truck driver? Oh, uh, Zuba evolves into Golbat at level 22. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, what's the level cap for Bird? Oh, shoot, is it 22 or 23? Okay. Edward was. <laughs> you gotta read, buddy. Zay ha ha ha. Edward, I need you to get tougher. Even I'm going to have trouble taking all of these devil fruits by myself. Anyway, it's okay. I'll take care of healing our crew. I'm counting on you, Edward. Are you ready to go? No. Okay, let's find Team Smegma. Yay! Oh, that's nothing. Now, we could just go over and get the thing done with, but there's a lot of items, and I want the free healing. Well, my question to you is, do you want to get started with the sewers, or do you want to do that next episode? You know what? Next episode! After I beat up this thing. <laughs> and then once we're done with the sewers, we can go up the little stairs, and we can get another encounter. Let's go. We can go get an Eevee. That, you gotta look up what the encounter is. I think Eevee's pretty rare. Oh, I forgot. He has a fucking Tepic in this. Oh, I, I guess it's Pink Knight. I know, um, depending on which version you have, it can either be a, a Pedagol, or you get the Cotton Eggs. And then if you get Shaking Grass, and you get some Ball Forms, Otter Nose on here, obviously. I think you can get Skitty. What's the, what's the area called? It's just called Castilia City. Because it counts as being in there. Fine. Yeah, if Fine. It, I think if you look up Castilia City, it's for, like the first game is going to bring up the Zoro and whatnot, because it's like a special thing, and then it should bring up the encounters in the grass area. Castilia City proper. Is that what it's called? After entering the Hall of Fame, there's a gift Eevee. There but, it is. But Castilia Park... You can get fucking rats. I knew it, you can get a skitty. You can get the doves. No, sk the skitty's in white too. Okay, you know what? I'm and and Petal is Buneary? also... We can get Buneary? Yeah, we can get... Okay, so we can get Rattata, Eevee, Buneary, Pidov, and Cottony. Wait, Cottony? Yeah. Aww. I hate this game. And then in the dark grass, we can get Rattata, Eevee, oh my god, Eevee, the same Pokemon Buneary, is like a higher level. <laughs> Pidov, and Cottony. What's the, what's the percentage of us getting an Eevee? Ooh, in rustling grass, we can get a Lopunny, Audino, or Whimsicott. Yeah, but look at the percentage for getting an Audino. That's 90%. <laughs> You know, all I'm saying is if we if we wanted to on one of these routes where we, we get, get like get the a, auto, like if there's a shitty encounter. Yeah, you could just get the auto, you can guarantee yourself the auto enough for, so that any future routes you can you shaking grass encounters until you get something. Yep. Other than an auto. <laughs> that's that's what I did in one of our in our Nuzlocke that we were doing that we were carrying on through the post game. Oh yeah. I, I, oh, you made it so you can guarantee a Lapras. I remember that. I, I guaranteed myself a Lapras in one, in one of the places, and I guaranteed myself a Matang in, in the, in the whatever it's called, the wherever Kyurem is. Oh, Giant Chasm. Yeah. I was gonna say Giant Meteor. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's his lore. The giant meteor came down, and then a monster came out of it. So you're not far off. He went, he went ooga booga booga, and they were like, "Holy shit! What the hell is that?" He came out of the meteor like, hur, 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 hur. <laughs> but anyway, I guess next episode we'll continue through the the sewers, possibly see a new person, catch up with Berg, and then I guess 
feed our Pokemon more candies until we can gym. <laughs> yep, we'll get our last encounter that we can get for now until the gym. Mm -hmm. And then we get to go beat up Berg's dumbass. Yay. We get to be like, stop being artsy, you hippie. Oh wait, we didn't check uh, Zubat real quick. Oh or yeah. Gilka Moria. Look, look at that, we got six Pokemon. Yay. We got lucky with this thing. Sassy you know. nature. Oh, he's so sassy. Minus speed plus special defense. That's pretty. That's good. It, 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 it could cannot. It, flinch. Well, it's probably gonna outspeed everything, anyways. Yeah, it cannot flinch. That's pretty good. Leech life wasn't uh, wasn't buffed in this game, right? Uh. I think it was buffed in like Gen Seven or Gen Six. Yeah. It's it's, yeah. It's a shit move. <laughs> Leech life is insane in the new games, because it does like sixty or seventy damage, mm -hmm. and, it, and it restores. It's literally just like a bug giga drain. Yeah. Yep. But alright. Till next time. Yep. Bye bye. bye, -bye.